I remember just breaking down in tears, sitting on the couch, and then stopping crying. It was one of those like, you had a moment of just utter gut-wrenching feeling, and I'm like, okay. And then like, it was like no emotion. Since that devastating day in 1994, Jen's taken solace in remembering her dad's internal spirit. He was your everyday kind of guy and a great dad and very lovable and very much similar to characters that he was on film. Happy birthday! I'm like, oh, that is, that is dad. It's not too far off. Jen's a lot like her dad, too. Not only does she have the same brown eyes, she's a comedian. The world this story is. If you ever want to go on a family road trip with the candies, be prepared for weird to <laughs> happen. He's a pretty big icon to kind of follow up to, so I've, I've given up on that train of going, I'm going to be just like you, because I will never be just like him. Jen's brother Chris is in show business too. He's an actor and musician who's also inherited the candy comedy gene. I'm always like, because I look at my brother and I go, wow, you got dad's sense of humor. But then he looks at me and he goes, wow, you got dad's sense of humor. But Jen reveals her dad didn't want his kids following in his footsteps. When I was little, he was like, no, you're, don't go into the business. I really think my dad now would, um, he would embrace it. Jen was recently in Toronto for the grand opening of the John Candy Box Theatre at Second City, the comedy company that launched her father's career. He loved theatre so much. He, I remember it was our third grade school play. It was, we had the gold rush. He produced it, directed it, did everything. He added like, you know, Steve Miller music. And it was like, it was the most high budget production a third grade play has ever seen. 